I was in Honduras for a mission trip, and there are 22 people, the power of God really moving. After that, we decided to go to Houston, Texas, very in touch with the presence of God, so I was appreciating things a lot more. We were there, me and Ashley, it's kind of my idea, I was like, hey, staying in Houston, Texas for 22 hours, so here's a video of that. The beginning, going to Texas. So, I'm Justin. It's Houston. Enjoy yourself. Brian's barbecue. Uh, <laughs> I <just> was in... <laughs> Ashley. Yes. World Interstate 69. Yes. So we had just got in the rental car, and I was <laughs> curious to know what was downtown. So we decided to drive straight downtown. We found this uh, beautiful park. It was pretty amazing, to say the least. I had a frappuccino. Guys, we are not dating. This park is so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. I'm here with Ashley. It's such a beautiful place, as you can see. Now, we decided to leave the park and go to the grocery store. We just got stuck in a residence-only elevator. Yeah, they followed it. The door closed behind us and it took me a solid 30 seconds to figure out just how to open the door. Well, it's classic, classic Ashley dancing. <laughs> now, this place was called Brennan's. It was really nice, but just a little bit too fancy for us. That okay. was such a nice restaurant. But such a nice restaurant. Since it's so nice, I don't like anything on the menu. Shrimp, quail, oxtail, frog leg, oyster. Mm. I only eat chicken and <laughs> sometimes turkey. I went to a pub one time in Europe, that's the only time. That was a real pub. You want to go inside there? Yeah, but you can get your steak first. I want the best of the best. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm at Taste of Texas in Texas. Gotta try some amazing steak. Okay, so this place is so amazing. Like, take your bread, put it in a basket, and just have whatever you want. Walk some cheese right there. Have some fruits, nuts, all types of proteins, raspberries, dressings, all types of things to put on your salad, the actual salad itself. They literally gave me a tour of all the meats and told me I could pick them out if I wanted or have them pick it out nicer than any of those places. I'm in love with this stick. I love this place. I love Texas. I want to move here. <laughs> it's for real. They changed the couch cushions to match Christmas. Where's oh, yeah. Lynn? I don't know, but I'm like... I almost cried. So always so proud to like my heart is like so... Because like very vulnerable moment. Yeah, because Lynn just touched me. Nobody's ever done that to me ever. I always do it. People hear about it, but nobody ever. And then now driving south to Surfside Beach, I think. Actually, I really feel like we're doing a lot in 22 hours. The best free steak I've ever had. So I decided to check out the coastline and Ashley really needed to go to the bathroom. So she ended up going to these bathroom like stalls that were close by and upon entering the bathroom stall she said she heard a man inside. She got super freaked out so she ran back to the car. I didn't know what was happening as I was filling the water. So I was kind of preoccupied with that but then she told me Hey, there's a dude around the bathroom stalls. It's scary. So I bolted to the car. She said to me afterwards, <laughs> I've never seen him run faster in this one. And we got out of there. Anyways, she still needed to go to the bathroom, so we decided to stop at a gas station. Upon stopping at this gas station, what happened was we saw this creepy old lady in a car. It kind of really, really freaked us out. 
so badly that we went inside the gas station. They said the bathroom was around the corner out back. And we were just like, okay, so let's find another place. Okay, in Houston, Texas, it is 2 a.m. So I'm on the beach down here, and it's pretty beautiful. The ground is pretty solid. Got the nice ocean waves, pretty nice. Seven. Now we're here at the beach. We slept like four hours last night, max. Maybe five, maybe five. Subscribers don't have to know everything. I went to bed at this time, I woke up at this time. Just say, I'm at the beach. It's the beach. Beach? Isn't that right, actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to go and how are you feeling? Huh? I'm excited. Huh? I'm excited. Huh? Luke. What? I can't hear you. But before we get going, how are you feeling? So y'all, we at NASA Space Center. Woo! Yeah. I feel like a nerd. I'm a nerd. Let's go. Okay, NASA Space Center so far so amazing. Like, can I go in the jungle gym up there? Can I do that? Even though it's for little kids, let's go. Let's visit, come on! Come on. It's like a bunch of stuff here. Oh, I'm in that. Let's see. I'll go this way. How much can we go? Will, this, will it go all the way? No, well, okay. It's done. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful day out here at NASA. We're about to go on the trams. On the trams, we're going. NASA, I'm not sure what this score is, so we'll see. I just never thought of this ever in my life. Look at the planets. So I just saw Mission Control Space Simulation a little. That's pretty sweet. Oh yeah, we did that. <laughs> Now at this point, I just thought it was so cool, all the old technology they had used in the past to make the space travel happen. I'm such a big crush right now. So we're gonna in here because not, not crossing the yellow and black line. Otherwise, a human automated termination cameras can exaggerate. It's always such a mess whenever one of those goes off. Now at this part of the tour, I was extremely fascinated, couldn't stop looking at everything around me. I couldn't help but notice that they had robots like everywhere. Overall, it was way cooler than I expected it to be and definitely worth checking out. I've got the Saturn rocket behind me. Here. We're doing this whole 22 hour layover thing and it literally went better than I thought it would. Isn't that right, Ashley? Yes. Yes, we had so much fun. NASA Space Center, we went to the beach this morning. Beside that, we went to a really nice restaurant which was called Taste of Texas.